beer. The oldest and most widely consumed alcohol beverage in the world. Made with hops and yeast to birth classic and adventurous flavors. But when it comes to the world of craft brews, it's just the beginning. Where did that come from? Follow our team of beer guides for beer ventures of a lifetime. Beer Captain Kelly Bigelow. Blessed with great weather at great times. Beer. At times <laughs> here. All the time. Always. The only thing that would make this better be if I had a beer in my hand. Brewery Navigator Ryan Newhouse. You're interested in a taste? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. Hey. yeah this is Cheers. just about the freshest beer I've ever had. And Kate Bernat, Beer Quartermaster. Yeah. yeah. A cow patty smells different after it's eight years spent in. Kelly, you test yeah. that and let me know. Yeah. Challenge accepted. Right. Hopefully they can make it out unscathed from the Bermuda Triangle. We doing poop into beer. Beer into poop and great. <laughs> Transportation provided by Rangich Brothers RV Center, home of where a handshake means something. If your next adventure includes the banks of a Montana river, shores of a wonderful lake, or campground inside a national park, travel in style with a new RV from Rangich Brothers RV Center. So we're here in beautiful Missoula, Montana. So today on my hike, I'm gonna have Kate Bernat uh, and Ryan Newhouse. We're going to be traveling onto some great breweries. Missoula has so many, so it's hard to categorize one better than another. But I felt like if we're going to do an episode featuring Missoula, that we really better start with the big three. So with these three breweries, we're going to head from Brewfest, which is at Karis Park. We're going to go to Big Sky Brewing in the amphitheater. And then we're going to head from there and go to Kettle House. It's going to be rocking, so be ready. Wayne uh, has this party vessel. We are going to be one of the first people on its maiden voyage. So the surprise that I have for Kate and Ryan, you can actually see it over my shoulder as it comes into view here, is the Lewis and Clark Trail Adventures pub raft. I'm completely convinced. Right? We're actually going to be floating down the Blackfoot River, which is, makes its way into the Clark Fork. They've removed uh, the dam, which was a mega fun site, and uh, we're going to be taken out right in the middle of Missoula at Silver Park. So it's going to be amazing, and I can't wait. All right, so we have three breweries on tap, obviously, in every episode. And uh, this episode, we've got Big Sky Brewing, Byron Brewing, and Kettle House. Um, we're going to kick it off with uh, Byron Brewing tomorrow at awesome. the Garden City Brewfest, which you get to be a judge in tomorrow's Brewfest. So. Yes, very excited. Is this your first year? No, second year. I judged it last year and it was so awesome and I can't wait to do it again. Uh, the Garden City Brewfest is such a good one too. Longest running, one of the largest in the state, but spring here and you yeah. can't, can't, can't get any better. No, it can't. We're blessed with great weather yeah. at great times. Year. I do nice beer. <laughs> All the All time. Right. <laughs> the only thing that would make this better be if I had a beer in my hand. We could pretend. So we should get one. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, okay. there's something yeah. missing. I yes. think so. My hand feels empty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel a little parched. This water is fine and all, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, let's, uh, let's, ladies first. All right. Lead the way, Kate. Let's do it, man. You, buddy. Let's get down this mountain and head on down to Brewfest for our next beer venture. My name is Luke Carlson. I'm the owner at Smelter City Brewing in Anaconda, Montana, and I bank at First Montana Bank. It's my belief that every town should have a brewery, and they, they should be treated as community gathering spots. 
meeting places. It's local ingredients, it's being brewed on the premises, it's as fresh as it can be. Putting the brewery right in the middle of downtown, we got to, to save an old building that otherwise was vacant and, and deteriorating. I never had a credit card because I wouldn't pay for something unless I had the money for it, so a loan is a, is a scary thing to have. Working with Abby was a, a good experience. Uh, it, I felt like there was a lot of trust involved. I felt like she had trust in me. First Montana Bank. Banking built on relationships. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. We're heading on down to Brewfest and we're going to meet up with the Belle of Beer and Kate, who is actually judging at Brewfest. So can't wait to get started. Kenzie. Hey. Kelly Bigelow. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So I understand you're the Belle of Beer. I am. My name is Mackenzie and many of you may know me as Belle of Beer on social media sites. It was a way of me being able to track what I was drinking and then it just kind of took off. I wasn't expecting anything from it. My whole reasoning behind it is to kind of make craft beer more approachable to all people. Everyone's palate is different and um, mine included and so I just want people to try beer that they want to try. Looks like uh... We're getting ready to start the, the brew fest. Yeah, the brew fest looks like it's buzzing. We should go check it out. Let's go do that. Yeah. And so we're going to start at brew fest with Byron Brewery, who's one of the older uh, breweries in the entire Northwest, um, let alone Montana as, as Montana's oldest lasting brewery that's still running. Tell me a little bit about what you know of this brew fest. Well, I know that there's a lot of cool events going on in town. This is a whole week that ends up to this Garden City brew fest. So there's trivia at local breweries, and they also have um, blind beer tasting events that are located at some of the bars and stuff, which is really cool because then it kind of gets people more involved with the craft beer scene here in Missoula. This is kind of like an homage to how you start the summer, I feel like. This is just a tradition, so it was kind of cool to, to join alongside someone new in this experience this year. All right. Here we are, Brewfest. Yeah, this looks like a good time. They got a live band and all kinds yeah. of vendors. Sounds great. I, Sounds awesome. I love Montana Brewfest, especially the ones here at Karis, because there's just such a big venue for those. Right. You know, it's people here. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. So Brewfest right now is buzzing. There are people everywhere. Jurgen's about ready to come down and do the ceremonial keg tap for Brewfest. And uh, I believe he's going to be in his Lederhosen. The, the buzz is great, the people are having a great time, and uh, boy, this is a long brew fest, so uh, we're gonna have to pace ourselves here. I'm the belly of beer. You know, I just, I work out, but I also like to party. You know, that's what my body says. <laughs> this is not the oldest brew fest in the state, but it's by far the largest. And I think it's the best one. All right, so, let's do the deed. Alright! Eight, nine, ten. I need more pictures, Saxon. So Jurgen's behind me. We just finished tapping this keg. Using a brass tap, we tap this into this wooden barrel as you see behind me. Also what you see behind me is the finished product pouring out of it. One thing that's a feature here in Missoula is not only beer, activities and abundancy of things going on but music the music scene down here is amazing you could probably hear the music in the background the city is great the music is great the beer is great and like i said before it flows as golden brown as our rivers do blue prost so judging Brewfest is amazing. This is my second year getting to do it, and I'm really looking forward to it. I want a best of show. I want a best of show runner-up. Okay. That's all I need. So it'll be myself judging um, people from Zoo City Zymergists, which is our homebrew club here in Missoula. A Zymergist is a uh, beer, beer maker, beer fan. Two is a double IPA. Yes. I vote to exclude it from further consideration. If we didn't like it as a pale ale. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, even the even the blonde has punchier aroma than, than than this does. Beer judging is a little bit different than just drinking beer because it's not necessarily about whether or not you personally like the beer, it's about how technically good is this beer. So it's kind of like watching the judges in the Olympics. It's not whether they like the routine, it's whether it hits all these technical notes. All right. Well, congratulations, Highlander. Your coffee, dark, mild is best of show at Brewfest this year. And it's Cheers. excellent. Cheers. It is Cheers. so tasty. Yeah. Cheers. I was not surprised by the winner of Brewfest, uh, hometown favorite Highlander. I did not know they made that beer, actually. Um, it was a coffee mild, which is a style I really like. Uh, yeah, that's the great part about judging Brewfest. You might find a new favorite beer. I'm always really tired after we're done judging, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go home and nap and let Kelly and the Bell of Beer take care of all of the rest of the fun of Brewfest while I put my feet up a little bit. So it's, this is an amazing event. You're such a uh, part of Missoula, and I'm really in the Garden City Brewfest being the oldest and first brewfest, uh, maybe not the first brewfest, but first tell, me, brewfest. tell me a little bit more about it. Well, I mean, the, the brewfest, uh, it started out as B-R-I-W, standing for Bayern, Rhinoceros, Iron Horse, and Warden's Market. And we started that in 1993. There were a few brewfests before, but I mean, the Missoula Brewfest evolved into the largest and most popular uh, uh, brewfest in the whole state. And I hope the guys in Bozeman won't crucify me over saying that. It is the truth, guys. So, uh, Missoula is it. One other thing, too, when I came here, I mean, why I like it so much. I mean, I came here and literally I found an open arm welcome. But I also figured when you come over here, age 25, being a master brewer, and you come here all the way from Germany, brew beer, people figured out I couldn't be such a bad guy after all. Yeah, so. Brewfest and what Jurgen started with Brewfest really culminates what Missoula is all about, and that's community. It brings the community together. Uh, you know, sitting there talking to Jurgen uh, during Brewfest, um, during our interview was was awesome to hear his story. Jurgen and these other breweries that, that we're gonna go to uh, in this episode and, and all the brewers across Montana give so much back to their community and are community focused. And um, really that's why I started the show. So we could highlight the fun things to do in these communities and how much these breweries mean. And you started your first location here in a small room here at the end of the X's, correct? In downtown Missoula. The end of the X's. But we have been in, we're, we're out on Montana Street, 1507 Montana Street, since 2002. And I'm not planning on moving anytime soon. <laughs> so talking about your brewery and the things, the unique things that you bring, um, I know you have a bottle washing system. Um, is it the only bottle washing system in the United States? Actually, currently it is. As of next month, we will be at 100%. Uh, we call it Virgin Plus One. We will have 100% reused glass. So, don't throw your bottles away. Let's get them down to Byron Brewery. Let's do the right thing. Let's recycle. Let's reuse. be sustainable. Reuse. Rejoice. And just be awesome. Yeah. Come on. Prost. Thank you so much. This has been awesome. Thank you. Prost. We got the Bell of Beer. Thank you, Ryan Newhouse, for introducing me to my newest friend and amazing beer connoisseur. You're so cool, and I hope you had a great time today. <laughs> so thanks, Kelly, for letting me be a part of this show today. I had a lot of fun. And check out a whole bunch of new breweries and their new beers. I really appreciate all of it and this journey with you. So cheers to that. Cheers, prost, and uh, cheers to Missoula. It was a great day hanging out with the Bella Beer at Brewfest and on our way to Big Sky Brewery. Beer Muta Triangle is proudly sponsored by Stampede Packing Company, maker of redneck brand cottage bacon, maple sweet hams, and distinctive sausages. Clothing provided by Montana Roots. Visit mymontanaroots.com. Transportation provided by Rangage Brothers RV Center. I had a hard time getting out of my chair a lot of days and uh, my health was deteriorating. I'd gained 40 pounds probably in the last five or six years, you know, prior to the surgery. And well, it affected every aspect of my life, and particularly my relationship with my wife. I mean, we've always had a good relationship, but 
Um, I didn't have the energy she did. I couldn't keep up with her. It had a very negative impact on my outlook. I was very negative about just about everything in my life. And a month after the surgery, we were doing some work at my mother's house. And uh, my wife looked at me and she said, who are you? She said, in the 24 years we've been married, you have never had this much energy. It has been a life altering event. I, I feel more alive and more excited to be alive now than I have in my entire life. I feel like I'm 30 years younger. It's, it's unbelievable the difference it has made in my life. To learn more and schedule your free consultation, visit us at surgicalsleepsolutions.com. Looking forward to kicking off concert season at Big Sky. They do a great job with their summer concert series and Ryan and I are going to head over there on his bike actually and then meet up with Kelly there. So then we'll get the grand tour of the whole thing. I'm excited. I get to check out another, uh, another great concert at Big Sky Brewing Company. Tour the brewery, enjoy their beer. Nothing better than that for a summer. Hey Kate, what's up dudes? Woo! Nice to see Let's you. Let's party. Hey man, I brought your hat. Yes, my For favorite hat. Thank you. How was the drive? Beautiful. Awesome. Oh man. So yeah, once we get to Big Sky, I should be meeting up with uh, Neil Leathers, which I'm really excited about because there's nobody better to give a tour of Big Sky. He knows that place front and back, top to bottom. Look who's here. Neil. Hey. Hey. Here we are. Yeah. Should we get a beer and get started? I, I think we should. You know, what I've always liked about Big Sky is when they do something, they do it really well and uh, they put everything into it, but they always uh, have the community in mind. Uh, they support the community and uh, they, they just make it fun. Oh yeah. my God. It's a pretty big room for uh, Montana. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Man, look at these tanks. Tanks and tanks and tanks. Tanks and tanks. Yeah. When we moved in here, which has now been about uh, 18 years ago, something crazy like that, we had like three tanks. So we <laughs> built it big enough to fill up, and we pretty much have filled it up now. That Moonstruel is. is still our best selling beer. In the summer months, Summer Honey is a really big seller. So right now it's probably about a third Moonstruel, a third Summer Honey, and our third is mixed up other oh, wow. brands. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wintertime, Moonstruel is half of the beer we're selling. Yeah, that's the beer that anyone wow. from outside of Missoula or yeah. even outside of Montana knows Montana sure. for. Uh, they're the most distributed Montana brewery out there, and I believe that their number is about 26 states, so about half of the United States uh, carries Big Sky. So you're either uh, you're either in one of those states or right next to one, likely. Obviously, this is where Good. all the magic happens. This is where right. all the bottling and canning the goes cleaning in. Cleaning and sweating and hard work. <laughs> right, yes, right. Yes, so, awesome. uh, so tell us about the, you know this whole process. Sure. So uh, you know we started out in 1995 and we were kegs only, and we were kegs only for about four or five years. And then we started bottling beer, and over the intervening years, cans have become really popular. So now we both bottle and can. Bottles have advantages, but cans do not break, and they do not let sun get into them and whatnot. So you can a lot take of them hiking and rafting. And That's right. And yeah. you can take them on a brewery tour. Right. Yes. That's right. There's so many great things. You for can cans. crush them on your forehead. <laughs> Neil, I feel pretty special on a brewery tour like this, but we're here to see a concert as well. I'm curious, like how many bands come through also want to come in and see the brewery? Yeah, that's pretty common, but some bands love to get involved in what's going on, and some just want to chill out and backstage and whatnot, but we've taken a lot of bands through here. The venue of Big Sky is really fun because it kind of feels to me like a big picnic that happens to have awesome concerts. It's just nice open lawn seating. You always kind of run into someone you know while you're drinking beer and you've got all this grass to just kind of spread out on. All the beer tents, all the food tents. It's just a really easy laid back place to go see a show. So Pay Joe, attention to I, your logo. I noticed when we came in and refilled our beers, uh, it's nonprofits that are slinging beers here. So how does, how does that work? Uh, the way we work our concerts is Every concert has a nonprofit that takes the beer proceeds from the show. So they come in, they pour beer, they raise money and awareness for whatever they have going on. Typically it's a project, uh, past projects, Brennan's Wave, Missoula Skate Park, Missoula Youth Homes. Yeah, this is like Missoula Freestyle team. Yep, they're going to build a big jump. Wow. And I bet those those beer proceeds are not 
not small proceeds either uh, on a hot day. And... No, definitely not. <laughs> Throughout the summer, um, there's a lot of zeros behind them, and so they've gone <laughs> to some considerable projects. Well, one of the things that I learned about their uh, their outreach side is. I've been surprised how much they've given back to the community. I knew it was a lot in the way that they set it up, but uh, and it, that was a, it's a lot of dollars that they've supported uh, not Missoula area and Montana nonprofits uh, through a variety of ways, giving beer out or supporting them through the concert uh, sales, the beer sales at concerts. And well, I'm excited to uh, walk around. Yeah. I want to see these uh, food vendors. I'm Absolutely. Super and excited the for the show. Yeah. I'm ready for the show. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Woo. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks for having Cheers. Us. The Bermuda Triangle is sponsored by Rangich Brothers RV Center, First Montana Bank, and Zip Beverage. Here at Rankage Brothers, we are celebrating 60 years of outstanding customer service. The Rankage story begins at this location 60 years ago. My father, RJ, was a stickler on quality and family tradition, where a handshake means something started with him. And carries on through our staff and those families that buy our homes and RVs. I'm Jack, 18 years. Kip Kuliu, 15 years. I'm Chris, 15 years. Come and visit us today and see why a handshake means something at Rankage Brothers RV Center. So we're headed out to Kettle House Brewing Company from Big Sky. We're gonna meet up with Zeb and hear about their third location, why they built it, and the fact that it has a wonderful amphitheater right next to it, what that means for our community, what it means for the town of Bonner, which is right outside of Missoula, and can't wait to hear more about what they've got going on. Hey guys. Hey guys. Good, thanks for having Doing us. Doing great. Yeah, welcome. Thanks good for having us, Zeb. Yeah. Good to see you again. Likewise. Hey Tim. Huh, looks good. Nice day. So this is this is the grand space that we've been we've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, this is what we call K3. This is our third brewery oh. and uh, it's the one that kind of answered our our problem of not having enough capacity that we dealt with for for many years. Cold Smoke Scotch Ale is our flagship beer. And when that really took hold, um, that's when things really started to get crazy for us and we needed more capacity. So we ended up out here in Bonner. So across the way we have this kick-ass Kettle House Amphitheater. I've actually been to my first concert there this year. And tell the viewers and, and kind of what the history of being out here, obviously with your third location, that growth, but uh, how that partnership with Log Jam presents. This came about as a result of a uh, discussion between Tim O'Leary, who's <laughs> Kettle House's founder, and Nick Chicota, who's the uh, owner of a company called Log Jam Presents. They have a pit area right in front, and then they have actual seats uh, boxes um, behind that and then grass seating <laughs> up above and um, they really did a nice job setting it up I think there's just not a not a bad seat in the house. We're gonna be floating a little bit later today with Lewis and Clark Trail Adventures pub boat and we'd like <laughs> to invite one or both of you to come along so if you can make it uh, we'd love to have you along and uh, we're gonna be sipping on some of your beers and uh, some of the other great beers that we're gonna be featuring in this show. I'd love to have you because that is really that outdoor experience is why we live here and endure the nine months of winter. Should we head inside? Yeah, Tim, yeah. why don't we take, you take us on the next portion here? Yeah, see, see the operation. Yeah. This part looks like it's under construction here. Yes, this is our uh, soon to be tap Thanks. room space and our next phase of construction. Um, it seems to be endless. But we <laughs> want people to be able to come out and enjoy this facility and it's in such a beautiful spot and we want somebody who's just had you know the best day on the river they've ever had caught the biggest fish of their life and then they come in and they have a beer here and go that's the best beer i've ever had We're and you're on. the one that makes the great experiences happen oh so. it's a definitely a team team effort but uh you guys want to walk over here next door to check it out see what's going on i'd love to yeah let's see this year we're packaging cold smoke uh flagship cocktail um are you interested in a taste? Yeah. So our tap is open, we can't drink in here, but we can do a professional tasting. That is pretty professional sweet. Professional tasting. Let's see what's going on. Thanks, guys. Cheers. 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 Yeah, Cheers. Hey. Welcome. yeah, this is Cheers. just about the freshest beer I've ever had. Welcome to the great experience. So this is where most of the beer that people are buying from the grocery store or whatever is is being brewed and, and packaged, right? Yes, uh, 
everything that goes out to our distributors um, is canned is right here in Bonner at K3. Drinking cold smoke right off the canning line. I've never done that before. It was probably the freshest cold smoke I'll ever have in my life. So uh, put that one down, check that off the bucket list. Drank cold smoke off the canning line in Bonner. That was part of an awesome day. Can we go see some tanks maybe? Yes, let's do it. So what's this elevated area and what's that about? Okay, so that's our uh, 60 barrel uh, brew deck. It's like uh, the tree house of the brewery. It is. Okay. <laughs> so it's a 60 barrel JB Northwestern brew house. Wow. Uh, built in the USA. Oh, it's baby cold smoke. <laughs> so this is a lot of time. This separates the grain from the wort. Getting to walk up onto the brew deck is something hardly anybody except the brewers get to do. So you really get to see the brewery from the perspective of the brewer and you're looking down at everything else and you can watch the whole lifespan of the beer from just the grains to adding the hops to going into cans all from right up there and it's a really one of a kind place to see a brewery from. Cold smoke in progress. In progress. <laughs> Making Seems its to way <laughs> to a can near you. And a right. liver near you. <laughs> so just want to say thanks. Hey, thanks yeah, a lot, Deb. Really us. appreciate your time and uh, oh, we thanks, appreciate Deb. you guys coming yeah, out. We we'll look forward to seeing you <laughs> later. Yeah. Good. See you later. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. We're on the banks of the Blackfoot River, and Kate and the Bell of Beer have joined me for this special little venture uh, that we're going to take with Tim Mason, who's the head brewer of Kettle House. We also have Jurgen Noller, who is the head.